2027, Primate Ayodele discloses only way to sell City Tinibu and the APC. Good morning everyone and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got here this morning. I was our headline for this morning says here that concerning the 2027 presidential election, Primate Ayodele discloses the only way to sell City Tinibu and the APC. Well, Primate Ayodele, I, Primate Elijah Ayodele, has shared what he called the victory strategy with the opposition. Legit that NG reporters have that the suggestion comes as politicians strategize ahead of the 2027 general election in Nigeria. Aldele noted that incompetent Nigerian leader Bola Tinibu will do everything in his power to lead Nigeria for the for the constituency allowed eight years. Well, as in Abuja, the spiritual head of the INRI Evangelical Church. Primate Elijah Ayodele has said the opposition must form an alliance to defeat President Bola Tinubu in 2027. Ayodele, in a recent social media post, asked the opposition to build a force and put a candidate towards in the next presidential election. Well, the outspoken cleric said, If you want to unseat Tinubu, let it be coalition. Only coalition can unseat the All Progressive Congress APC in 2027. He continued, but Tinubu will not take it easy because Tinubu himself is ready to fight the battle. A lot has to be re strategized for the 2027 election to be genuine. Watch Permit Elderly's video below. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that concerning the 2027 election, Permit Elderly discloses the only way to answer Tinubu, says Andy APC. Well, of course, you heard it from me this morning, and if you're not a subscriber, the best you can do right now is actually to subscribe and tap that tap the notification bell. So anytime we have a new update concerning this particular news, you'll be the first to get notified about it. It's up. Okay, coming back to this headline. Primate Ayodele is disclosing the only way to unseat Tinibu and the EPC coming 2027 presidential election. Well, I like how Ayodele called this the victory strategy. He calls it victory strategy. Because he knows that um he knows that some politicians, not only him, because uh, uh, related to NG reports was that some politicians are already strategizing, they are already making their plans towards the 2027 presidential election. And if you want Tinubu not to win the 2027 election, opposition parties gassed and team up, team up against him. When I'm talking about opposition party, I'm talking about um, Peter Obi, Atiku, um, Kwan Kwaso. Teaming up against Peter, um, against Tinibu himself, the spiritual head of the INRI Evangelical Church has said the opposition must form an alliance to defeat the president. They must all form an alliance. They must come together as one party in order to actually bring down Tinibu. If not, Tinibu is just going to do what he did and still win it and still win the election. We all know that Tinibu this turn to a dream. Tinibu did not win it. He just bought it. But team teaming up, it will be hard for Tinibu to buy it. Yes. It will be hard for him to even buy it. So if you want to unseat Tinibu, let it be a coalition. Only a coalition can unseat the APC and Tinibu himself. That's what I'm entirely said. But looking at what people will say, because people, um, two Nigerians will actually, some of Nigerians will say otherwise. Because if Peter Green wants to go solo, or Atiko wants to go solo, they may not, they, they may not be successful. Even Tinibu himself, the, the fight will not be easy because Tinibu himself will not want to do for any of them. Tinibu himself will not want to do for any of them. The same way that Peter Abu did not be for him in the 2023 election. Yes. In the comment section that I have over here, Great Immense says that Prophet Adele, you are not a servant of God and you will fall with your dark power. This Tinibu bad government will kill we Nigerians, but it kill you all evil supporters of in inequality in Jesus' name. Ha. Amen. <laughs> okay, Tammy Danke says that. Um, which kind of person be this? The brother Tinibu won the election. Was he elected? Someone who maim and killed to be where he is, and you are here talking about coalition. Where you where you, where where you know that prophecy that will win? Where, where you know the one that prophesied that will win? You just want to be noticed else. There is no meaning in what you are saying because your brother has gone dirty before and is still ready to go dirty like you said. This person is actually right. This person is actually right in what he said. He's not the one that predicted that Tinibu will win because you, you just wanted to get noticed. 
But one thing is for sure, I haven't seen um, Prophet Ayo Dele talk one thing about God. Uh, so they are about politics, 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 politics. Okay, something um, when you push said that alliance or no alliance, you should have known that Tinibu is not like Jonathan that has listening that has listening ears and God fearing to cut it short. As far as Tinibu is the one to nominate Ainek Shaman, he will still win twenty twenty seven. If they go to court, he will buy a lot of them. Nan- he will buy a lot of them. Nigerian vote doesn't count. Case finished because he who pays the piper piper d- detect the tone. I rest my case. It's true because it's true. Tinibu is not supposed to want to be chosen the Ainek Shaman. So, and since he's the one, believe me, he's still going to do the same thing in the 2027 election. That is why most Nigerians say they're not going to vote because they feel like their vote is not counting anyway. They feel that their vote, they, they feel that they are, they are being cheated, that their vote does not count, which is, which is actually true. Which is actually true. Hmm. We got up Nigeria. Well, we, we, we should somewhere say that why this prophet elderly not seen the negative electoral rules of Ainek Judiciary in his prophecy. In his prophecy. Well, if Tinibu, to me, I already, I already know that if this, the 2027 election, there are only two winners here. One is Peter Obi because people may feel they want to give him a chance not to rule in this country. Secondly, oh, the 2027 is actually tight because I'm hearing news that Jonathan is also coming up. So uh, it will be really, really tight. It will be really, really tight, even for Peter Obi himself. But Titinibu will just bring out money and buy an egg the same way he did in 2023 and case closed. But what do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as big as on with notification bell. So anytime we have a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day. I love you.